Good morning, everybody. Friday is here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let's start with a big rosy shake. Let me grab my coffee and we'll get to the uh, Friday morning vlog. How about it? Woo. That's better, huh? Let's get our morning pills here. Always start your day with a big, uh, big glass of water, which I did hours ago. Take my vitamins and... I hope everybody's having a great day today. Yeah, it is Friday, the uh, 2nd of uh, September. I'm excited for the weekend. I'm back basically uh, working full time these days. So it's like now weekends really mean something to me. Because <laughs> I was kind of part time and drifting 10 and 15 hours a week. And, the days start kind of blending together and you don't really, uh, the weekend just doesn't mean, now the weekend means a hell of a lot to me. And it is going to be hotter than a $2 pistol on the streets of Baltimore City on a hot August night. I think we're going to probably get up to 108 to uh, 110 over the next few days. Maybe it'll be the last hurrah, I don't know, but September and October tend to be very uh, hot months here in California, which is good. You know, I like the sunshine again sun this year i'm feeling good uh, but with that comes a fire danger so something to uh, something to consider and something to always worry about because we've we've been pretty much traumatized out here with uh fires 2017 when uh, for the first time in history a wildfire got loose into an urban to a major city Santa Rosa burned a third of it down, 6,000 homes in six hours, uh, destroyed unprecedented destruction. I thought something like that would never happen again, and then a year later in Paradise, California, it literally took the whole town off the map, okay? So we know these seasons are bad. We've had the Kincaid fire a couple of years ago, so we know, we know what's coming, and it's heat like this, heat episodes like this, 105, 110, uh, with all this vegetation here, that's the difference between out in the desert, say in, up in San Bernardino County with brush and scrub things and desert environment. Here we have uh, a lot of vegetation that comes because of the rainy season in the winter, and then that all dries out. You've seen how brown the hills are, and it's absolutely terrible. Uh, light of match car pulls off the highway and the uh, exhaust is too hot, the catalytic converter, boom, all of a sudden you got a fire and a wind kicking up and it gets absolutely uh, horrendous and well it's on and then it's very hard to contain. Uh, took me a while to get used to the California weather pattern. I first moved here, I thought, how unusual. You wake up in the morning, you got something called the marine layer. It looks like it's going to pour rain and be a rainy day. And then at 10 o'clock, it all burns off in the morning and it's sunny. And you literally don't get rain for months after months after months. So it's, it's quite something coming from the East Coast where in summertime you would have thunderstorms and uh, humidity. So it's going to be a little crispy uh, coming up here. But it didn't just turn into, you guys didn't turn into here fucking weather. <laughs> to hear the weather the weather report so more content is going to be coming up i do want to get out and try to do some uh, uh metal detecting uh here of course i always seem to get the urge when it's going to be 100 110 degrees and uh continue to have fun on kitchen stadium because of work and the fact that uh we've had so many people quitting recently and i've i've racked my brain to try to figure out what crawled into a lot of young people's minds these days that makes them think that work is optional. And I just don't know. The people I talk to that are my contemporaries in the world are like, yeah, it was, you know, uh, you know I've got a friend, Craig, that works at Lowe's. He's like the youngest person is 56 years old. It, uh, uh, works there and in my facility there are very few or the place that I go now very few young people want to do that uh, work that I do and I just struggle and struggle and I think in my mind like well, the pandemic changed so much 
the world was normal in March of 2020. Well, as normal as normal could be. And then all of a sudden, bam, things start to go weird. And um, post-pandemic, I don't even know if it's post-pandemic. We could be in the middle of something. I don't know. We got uh, Chengdu, China, which is out where the uh, panda bears are. The Wulong Preserve, where I've been to before in Sichuan Province. City of 12, 20 million people. We have no comparable size cities here in the United States. You have to go to places like Mexico City and for uh, Tokyo for size wise, but that's uh, a whole city of 20 million people is going on lockdown over there. And of course, it's no secret that China is coming unhinged, which is a big part of our problems. But it's the weekend we're here to, we're here to talk to that fun stuff. Um, and to get caught up on uh, things. Uh, so I'm going to be doing some content. I've had five months now, four months with the uh, cooler that my wonderful friend and moderator, Shimei, would, uh, had uh, sent me. It's a clip-on cooler for the back of the phone to keep it cool. And it's really made a world of difference for me uh, as far as being able to live stream when it's hot outside. Because when you're live streaming, you're using a tremendous amount of uh, CPU processing power and with processing power comes heat and it's hard when it's 100, 105, 110 to dissipate that heat. It's hard to release that heat inside the phone and it goes into a, it goes into a shutdown uh, mode. So this cooler clipping on the back has been a wonderful thing and I want to review it because yeah it's kind of been a game changer for me and I've been able to skate through the summer. You know we've had a couple incidents where the heat got it but uh, by and large, it's been uh, it's been good. So, um, yeah. So I might try to go off today, depending on how tired I am. Uh, Got to go into a check into another place this afternoon and do some more uh, work to get the golf clubs out because I haven't swung a club since December when my side was uh, injured. And thank goodness that's that's ninety five percent to the good now. Uh, which is great. A lot of people have asked me how that's going and, uh, you know, fully recovered from the bikini tuck. If you're on my TikTok, Rosie underscore O'Kelly underscore, underscore official, you'll see that the results have been nothing short of spectacular for, uh, for that. So I feel like I'm good to uh, go. So as far as a lot of people, when are you going back to Vegas? Where a lot of people are very interested in the uh, sports betting thing and how that's uh, gone. Um, I can't see myself going back before, say, the third week of uh, third week or last week of September. To tell you the truth, it's just that we're just that rack right now at the work I do. So I'll I'll take the money, you know. I'll I'll take the money. I'll use the money, as you know. I'm. Uh, very careful with the way I spend money and things, which is the way it should be. So build up my bank a little bit. Vegas isn't gone anywhere. Sports betting's not gone anywhere. I'm pleased so far that things have been uh, things have been going good. I think I have the ability to suss out some things. In my great no, in my decent yes. Am I always learning? Absolutely. If the week goes by and I don't feel like I learned something, then, well, it's not worth it. But I did get all distracted here um, because, honestly, work is going to go first. And that's just the way I always feel about things. I'm going to prioritize work because I feel like I'm fighting back against some of the forces of screw-up. In the world today where a lot of people don't feel like putting the time and effort into uh, working or trying to be social media influencers or uh, build a social media presence. I get it. It's fine. You know, I mean, do what you want to do. Uh, the pursuit of happiness that I've often talked about. As for me, I want to get in an even play. And so when the time comes with that, I do walk away in June of uh, ostensibly, allegedly, theoretically, possibly. <laughs> walk away in June of uh, 2023, not only will I have the feeling of, um, you know, that I've secured my future and worked as much as I could, but I'll also have the psychic feel-good factor of knowing that uh, when times were really tough, I put myself into the breach. 
and uh, worked all during the pandemic, working through the pandemic, not knowing what to expect with Cornholio and the, and the evolution in the path that Cornholio took. But to be there working through, I mean, I, I feel good about that. You know, maybe I'm stupid, but I feel good about uh, doing that. And I have friends that are my age that worked right through the pandemic too and things. I'm not saying it's an individual choice, but I'm saying that's going to give me a little boost into uh, into uh, my potential uh, retirement. So, but who knows the shape of the world coming up? We talk enough about that. But uh, this weekend also too, uh, kind of going to play it by ear. I think uh, it'd be fun to do a cemetery thing on uh, Saturday night. It's prime time. Black Widow time. <laughs> there, 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 there. Prime time. Doing good. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out. A few musings this morning for you. I will see you uh, this afternoon. Uh, and in the meantime, please give a thumbs up here. If you're new, check over the channel. Look at some of those playlists, even if you've been here a while. Look down at that front page or go to that tab that says playlist and look at some of those playlists. 100, 200 playlists, all the way back to 2013. Yuck, yuck, trips and fun and crazy hijinks. Boss Janet, Bobby, renovations, uh, vintage audio restorations, uh, cooking, live streams, metal detecting. There is just so much cool stuff down there for you guys to check out. Cinematic experiences. A lot of people are like, Rosie, we really enjoy, you know, the Benicia trips and uh, the places that you go, Point Ray Station, and love the cinematic trips. Well, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of them down there, all for you to check out. In the meantime, thumbs up or appreciate it, guys, and have a wonderful day. See you later.